I think I'm on. I think I'm on. Hi, and what is dentistry for May 1st? May 1st is the 121st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 122nd in leap years, with 244 days remaining to the end of the year. May 1st is also traditionally May Day, uh, a celebration of spring. May Day traditions might include dancing around a maypole, crowning the Queen of May, <laughs> and giving May baskets, small baskets of sweets or flowers, usually left anonymously on neighbors' doorsteps. What a pleasure it was doing this research to be reminded of these activities. I hadn't thought of these since I was in grade school. Today's word is Apollonian. Apollonian is an adjective that means serene, harmonious, disciplined, well-balanced. This comes after Apollo, the god of music, poetry, prophecy, healing, and more in Greek and Roman mythologies. He's considered the opposite of his brother Dionysius or Dionysus. Earliest documented use of the word Apollonian, 1664. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes, and if they're not there live, they will be soon thereafter. <laughs> Ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I don't know what we can do about live about outtakes while we're live streaming, but uh, you get to see the mistakes as they happen. <laughs> I'm uh, still trying to climb that learning curve for live streaming and had difficulty getting on at one place and now I'm on another place and I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but I've got some work to do on my computer because not only is it too full to let me upload and edit a video to upload later, it apparently is too full to let me do a live stream. So I don't know. Anyway, with all that, <laughs> which ordinarily would be edited out of a recorded video, um, let me turn the mail off because that is annoying. Quiet mailbox. All righty, here we go. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1707 when the Act of Union, which joined England and Scotland to form the Kingdom of Great Britain, this took place on May 1st. On uh, this took place on May 1st of 1707. See, ordinarily I would clean that up and be a lot smoother. You get the whole clunkiness. <laughs> Josiah Wedgwood founded the Wedgwood Pottery Company in Great Britain on May 1st, 1757. Mozart's opera, The Marriage of Figaro, was performed in Vienna, Austria for the first time on May 1st, 1786. The first official adhesive postage stamp, The Penny Black, was issued in the United Kingdom on May 1st, 1840. Hong Kong Police Force, the world's second modern police force and Asia's first, was established on May 1st, 1944. I guess I'm a little surprised that it came along that late, but there you go. Oh, that says 1944. I think it meant 1844. Yeah, well, that makes a lot more sense if it was in the 1800s. See, this is all the kind of stuff you miss when I edit the videos. <laughs> oh, boy. Queen Victoria opened the great exhibition at the Crystal Palace on London in London on May 1st, 1851. This is the birthday of American Frontiers woman and professional scout Calamity Jane, born May 1st, 1856 as Martha Jane Canary. Accounts of her early life are sparse and questionable <laughs> as her tale of how she came to be known as Calamity Jane, as is her tale of how she came to be known as Calamity Jane. She appeared in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show for a time as a storyteller. 
I, Jane might have been an alcoholic. She sure liked to bend her elbow. She died when she was only 47. This is the birthday of Vincent's little brother, Dutch art dealer Theo Van Gogh, born May 1st, 1857. You know, we hear a lot about Vincent, less about Theo. Theo died about six months after Vincent did, when Theo was only 33. On May 1st, 1866, race riots began in Memphis, Tennessee. Nearly 50 people were killed in these riots and reports of the atrocities influenced passage of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution. This is the one that addresses citizenship rights and equal protection under the law and was proposed in response to issues related to former slaves following the American Civil War. The Folie Bergère opened in Paris on May 1st, 1869. On May 1st, 1886, rallies were held throughout the United States demanding an eight-hour workday. This went on actually over the course of a few days, and on May 4th, a riot broke out in the Haymarket Square rally in Chicago. Things got violent, people died, and in the aftermath, May 1st, is also recognized as International Workers' Day in many countries. So it's a spring celebration and International Workers' Day. This is the birthday of American astronomer and ufologist J. Allen Hynek, born May 1, 1910. Best known for his UFO research, he developed the Close Encounter Classification System. He lived to the age of 75. This is the birthday of American comedian, author, and talk show ho Jack Parr, born May 1st, 1918. Best known as the host of The Tonight Show from 1957 to 1962, Jack Parr lived to the age of 84. Also the birthday of American novelist, short story writer, and playwright Joseph Heller, born May 1st, 1923. He wrote the book Catch-22, a satire on war and bureaucracy, whose title has become a synonym for an absurd or contradictory choice. Joseph Heller lived to the age of 76. On May 1, 1930, Pluto was the name officially proposed for a newly discovered dwarf planet. The name quickly caught on. The Empire State Building was dedicated on May 1, 1931. On May 1, 1945, Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels' wife, Magda, fed six of their children cyanide capsules before Goebbels and his wife took cyanide capsules themselves in order to commit suicide in the Reich Garden outside the Fuhrer bunker. The polio vaccine developed by Jonas Salk was made available to the public on May 1, 1956. You remember the other day they started the field trials for that. Anyway, on May 1st, 1961, then Prime Minister of Cuba, Fidel Castro, proclaimed Cuba a socialist nation and abolished elections. Elvis Presley and Priscilla Beaulieu got married in Las Vegas on May 1st, 1967. Amtrak took over U.S. passenger rail service on May 1, 1971. Disney MGM Studios opened at Walt Disney World near Orlando, Florida on May 1, 1989. SpongeBob SquarePants premiered on Nickelodeon on May 1, 1999. <laughs> and that's all I have for you today. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. If not immediately, then very soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this if you found it interesting, informative, or entertaining. And I certainly hope that you learned something today. Feel free to check out my other channel, 8 Susquehanna. There should be a link to that in the show notes as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.